sort of introduction. Well, uh, dear colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, as I have scribbled down in the first slide, our department of psychiatry and psychotherapy welcomes you. And I'm really proud that we are actually hosting uh, the 18th annual conference of the SRNIT in uh, Europe here today. Well, I have to say that when I became chair of this department in 2012, uh, I remember that there was a guy uh, coming along called Güter, and he was very interested in tobacco dependency, and I thought, is that relevant uh, to illnesses? Is that something we'd like to focus on? And I had to learn, uh, and I say I learned quickly, that indeed most of our patients smoke. It's about 90% who smoke. And that smoking is a much bigger problem than alcohol dependency or any other dependency we have in treatment. Just to give you an impression of what we do here and give you something about the history of the hospital, um, if you look at these pictures, this guy over there is Emil Kreplin. He has actually founded this department in 1904. Now, since 1904, for all these years, we have the records of people admitted to the hospital. So we have around 2,000, 2,500 admissions. About 30% since then come to the hospital because of alcohol dependency. 30% of affective disorders, 25% of psychosis. The point is why I am stressing that so much, that this guy here, who is well known, and I think found in a lot of important issues in psychiatry, he was very much against alcohol. So he tried to make a campaign against alcohol, and he started to do that in Munich, which you think is a bit difficult. So, you know, he started to tell people of the breweries that you kill people, this is not a good job. So, in his time, he had difficulties, but to be very honest, he was not able to bring down numbers of people admitted to our hospital with alcohol dependency. So, in a way, what I want to stress, I think we have a long-standing tradition um, doing research on dependencies, and I think smoking is, I think, one of the re more recent ones, and I think one of the very successful ones. And you can actually look at the room uh, where he has actually looked at the brain of uh, so the first case of Alzheimer's disease. So these two guys started here where you are. So this building is run as a lecture hall since 1904, which sort of might help you to feel a bit of this sort of year-long intensive discussion about issues. And then finally, I'd like to introduce you to two other guys. This guy is Ludwig II, and this guy is uh, Professor von Gooden, who was chair here, and both of them died. <coughs> Just that you have, if you have been coming to Munich, you need to know, because there are myths about Ludwig II. Ludwig II, people say, was shot wrong. Before that, he actually drowned his psychiatrist, and then obviously died afterwards. So that's sort of, just if you look at the pictures and have the full picture of this department. So having said that, just giving you a glimpse, an introduction of the richness of the history and sort of the research work, I'd like to sort of welcome you uh, looking at a very rich and interesting program because I think, and that is, uh, I like a lot, it brings together researchers, physicians, psychologists, politicians, we had a good feedback about this, professionals working tobacco, understanding and treating nicotine and tobacco dependency. And with that, i just like to show you how this building looked in 1904 when it was started. With that, I wish you a really inspiring, fruitful exchange at this Congress. Thank you very much.